having been into orthopedics for almost around three decades, my interest and my focus was suddenly drifted towards learning and understanding one particular disease. Why such a radical transformation has occurred so suddenly? The reason is dated back to one horrifying incident. Ladies and gentlemen, it was early morning in the coldest winter day. A woman in her late 40s was wheeled down to my hospital on a stretcher. A brilliant engineer, she was continuously screaming with pain in the hip joint. Her x-ray demonstrated a complicated fracture of the hip. Looking at the x-ray, I could make out that her bones are not normal. They were fragile beyond the breaking point. I asked her, how did the accident occur? She instantly replied, sir, I did not meet with an accident. Neither I stumbled nor was there any roadblock. While walking, I noticed a little pain in the hip joint. It was followed by some sensation of weakness. And then suddenly, sir, I fell down. She was quite nervous when told that her hip is badly broken. Broken not because she fell down. However, she fell down because the bone was broken. She was operated upon once, twice, thrice. Ladies and gentlemen, five times consecutively in a row. But still, her fracture refused to heal. She was almost bedridden. Her movements were completely stalled. Her dreams completely gone. Her desires devastated. As the time went on, she started losing faith that medical science will ever be able to do something good for her. And finally, a year later, ladies and gentlemen, one fine morning, relatives found her dead, lying on bed in the pool of blood. She slit her throat and committed suicide. Her death was an answer to so many questions. It has not only taught me lessons, but has offered me one of the biggest challenges of my life. Hip joint, the powerhouse of energy, it gives us mobility and an ability to stand erect. Ladies and gentlemen, can you believe this hip joint is automatically broken simply while a woman is walking on the street? Have you ever heard that a bone gets fractured without an accident or trauma? Can you imagine a vertebra which constitutes the backbone, the strongest pillar of the body, is completely fragmented, completely shattered, simply while sneezing or with a bout of cough? Yes, indeed this happens. How? Osteoporosis is that dangerous disease which silently weakens the bone, particularly when a woman reaches menopause. The bone crumples like plaque of cards, completely halting the movements. Such is the impact of this dreaded disease that there is a blast, but there is no sound. There is neither there is a pain nor there is a wound. Ladies and gentlemen, this disease, which was not even in public domain for the last five decades, suddenly it has become into the forefront of public awareness. Thanks to the advent of DEXA scan, it is a machine, it is a mechanism which reliably quantifies the bone density and accurately diagnose osteoporosis. And then millions of women in the world, they got their bone density done. And when the horrifying extent of osteoporosis came to the fore today, osteoporosis, ladies and gentlemen, has no longer remained only a disease, but it has become one of the biggest challenge of 21st century. Look at the extent of osteoporosis. One out of three women in the world suffers. 8.9 million fracture occurs. One fracture occurs every three seconds. India reports almost <coughs> around 10 million fractures, hip fractures, which is the commonest and perhaps the most dangerous consequence of osteoporosis. They are estimated to increase by 310% by the year 2050. India reports 10 million cases per year. And this is despite rapid advancement into the diagnostic and therapeutic strategies of osteoporosis. 
in India. Osteoporosis is very commonly found in rural areas. I studied to reason out why. Ladies and gentlemen, I found it is not the improper diet. It is not lack of exercise. It is not the lifestyle. The only and sole reason is lack of awareness. There is an absolute and incomprehensible ignorance about the disease, about its consequences, about its remedies. And so, I could not shut my eyes to this painful truth. Therefore, I decided to educate every rural woman and empower them to fight against osteoporosis. But with the constraints of time, with the busy hospital schedule, engaging 30 million rural women in this noble struggle was not only a task formidable, but it was a mission impossible. So I was nervous. It is as if my whole mission was encircled by a gloom, but I did not give up. Because as a doctor with a social conscience, I had a greater role and responsibility towards God and towards my country. Suddenly, technology came to my rescue and I designed a program, HITCO, Health Education and Teleconsultation on Osteoporosis. I redesigned a van into a complete, comprehensive, all-pervasive digital osteoporosis van. Let's see how we work. My van goes and travels to a particular village selected on the basis of internet connectivity. It stops at a designated location. Then the hydraulics in the van, it ejects two speakers which are mounted on the top of the van. A song is played. It is composed on osteoporosis. Now listening to the song and having the glimpse of the vehicle, the, real, the villagers, they come running and rally around the van. Then a canopy comes out automatically and then a makeshift tent is created. The villagers, they sit in the tent. I get the signal in my hospital then. I stop my work for a while and start speaking in front of a high digital camera which is installed in my consulting chamber. And my entire speech is listened by the villager live on the TV monitor which is installed into the exterior panel of the van. I tell them everything about osteoporosis in their local dialect. Then three women, they are escorted inside the van. One woman straight away goes to a DEXA scan machine to get her BMD done. And the remaining two are shown the exhibition on osteoporosis. There are digital images. There are couplets, there are slogans, there are poems, there are songs, there are vi videos, there are demonstrations. The actual human bones are kept there. How the normal bone looks, how the osteoporotic bone looks, and how the osteoporotic fracture occurs. Everything she comes to know. Once the woman on a DEXA scan completes her BMD, she is given the, her bone density, how much is the bone density, and then how much calcium and vitamin D3 is required based upon her bone density, she automatically comes to know digitally. And how to source that much calcium and vitamin D, that also she comes to know digitally. Finally, this woman turns into a well-educated, well-informed and completely investigated woman with osteoporosis. But still, if certain doubts are left in her mind, there is a small chamber inside the van. She can enter inside the chamber and she can directly talk to me through video conferencing. I am sitting in my hospital. I am sitting in my hospital. I talk to her and complete all her doubts, whatever is there in her mind. And finally, the woman goes completely satisfied. Ladies and gentlemen, 52 villages 8,792 women educated. HITCO has placed on record significant measurable outcome with 22.7% rise in BMs, BMD, which has been observed in the subsequent camps. And therefore, this resounding success symbolizes that HITCO is the future of healthcare awareness system in this country. Ladies and gentlemen, in a country like India, where agriculture and rural is the backbone 
Undoubtedly, it is the backbone of Indian economy. HITCO pledges, vows to strengthen every bone in the skeletal system of the rural women. And this van is not only a unique innovation, but it is a classic creation which is navigating digital health from present to posterity. My single and take home message for everybody listening to my talk that to prevent osteoporosis, every woman who has reached menopause must take two tablets of calcium every day, half a liter of milk every day and expose yourself to 15 minutes to early morning sunlight. This is my take home message, ladies and gentlemen. It is a very big issue and therefore I appeal everybody to join this mission to make India free from osteoporosis as together we can and we will make the difference. Thank you very much.